Hey, my fans, day two of the attempt to move this big compression. No attempt to, about We're going to get this thing done. This big machine is going to be going back up to the Tacopa Mines in the near future. And uh, we've got a good crew out here to help. Uh, better call Paul over here with his truck coming behind us. We've got uh, Robin over there on the other side doing some work already so you can't see him. And, of course, we got this pair right here. Hi. Dan Riggs and Wonder Hussey herself, who's out here to make a video and... With a crew like this, we can't possibly fail. That's right. You said it. Uh, well, we can, but off. we're going to pretend we can't. So, okay. yeah. so I right. so, want to thank uh, Wonder Hussey here for coming out to help us and uh, promote this and the museum. I am making my own video, yes, for all three of my viewers. Oh, okay, let me move out of the way of a truck here. Getting her hitched up now. Paul make it look oh no, so easy right here, yeah. this is a homemade thing this is an odd yep. odd odd duck and the people who homemade it their grandkids are probably it was probably a homemade watching this video home, yeah hitched it hooked onto also okay this is 1940s stuff here i mean this is all half so we spent the last 10 minutes trying to get this thing mounted up here but we're almost there let's see And the experts consult. Stay tuned. Sometimes an inch makes all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Take two, since the pedal hutch won't hook up to that homemade. We're pulling on a chain here, so let me get out the way here, lest I get smunched. Come on. Kind of moved. Almost. It's thinking about it. Some Dodge power here. At all. It was starting to. I saw it turn a little bit. Yeah, we got this wheel into this. This could take us a bit. Yeah. But what's okay? We got all day. There's no all down in all. Yeah. And take three from a safe distance this time. Part of the fun of this old machine is these rather, uh, let's see, unique rims these things are on. It looks like uh, old uh, heavy truck tire rims on the front side, although with no lug nuts. And spoked rims on the inside. So. Rob, what were you saying about this thing? I've never seen a hybrid rim like that in my life. And that's saying something, because Robin here's seen about everything. If it's mechanical. So, we've got a challenge here today. But, if Robin and Paul can't do it. <laughs> and now we're doing the jack thing here. For those of you who've never come out here and seen this machine, it's uh, quite a good sized indeed. Tell our scale models over here. It's a big machine to do a big job back in the day. And it is not sprung at all. This thing is solid. Correct. Overbuilt uh, at the very least, but that's why it's still around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't strong enough. Well, okay. So. okay. 
Oh, I see. The 20 times. We tried the highlight. That was strong. An exercise in soil compaction. Yeah, it looks like the board's going down. Yeah. Uh -oh. that's, that's one of yeah, I was board. hoping the one that I got was going to be long enough. But it's going down also. Big red, huh? Mm. This thing, I think, has a slow week. You're talking about the tire, right? Uh, the jack. Yeah, it looks like it's going up slowly, right? Yeah, yeah, the back tire is moving. It is. Things are happening here. Going up and going down. Yeah, it is lifting. <laughs> and the block of wood is. Look at this, guys. It's a, hey, look at the whole front wheel is. Out of the crap. That's a plus. So what, you guys came out here to change the tires and you realized you couldn't? Cause... Well, we kind of figured that already, but... Uh... We have to take these apart. But we can't do it with just sitting right, on the yeah, ground. Yeah. So I want to get it over to some hard ground. I got you. Yeah, these, these old rims appear to be uh, some very interesting field modification... Uh, done you know, outside of manufacturer spec so you know what this was a seriously nice welding job to me because somebody yeah. did oh good nice to respect the old time welders yeah the, the, the hillbilly miners out of the uh one of the mine sites did this you can see it used to have spoke wheels on there and then they kind of jerry-rigged these looks like old army truck tires or split rims onto the old spoke rims so mm. it's a one of a kind Turn their money back in the day. They didn't hire slouches. You know what? It's the same thing out of our mind. If we need something like this, you mean these guys didn't just sit around waiting for their stimulus payments? No, nah, they were a different breed back then. Okay. Uh, they were pre TikTok and pre YouTube and everything. No soy boys. We need what was that you were saying, Paul, about the tire? Uh, I'm just thankful it's not flat all the way around. Good observation. But then they, it makes it like 18 times harder. On the plus, on the downside, the tire's flat. On the upside, it's only flat on the bottom. Hey. When life hands you lemons, make all them foamers. <laughs> Some people have way too much fun. Uh -huh, yeah, that's me. Fun, fun, fun. My middle name. That's why uh, people watch my channel, Ross. I you thought your middle name was Louise. You might consider trying to do something fun yourself sometime. Ouch. What, you crawling through the mines isn't fun? Okay. I'm just saying the numbers don't lie, Ross. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> the uh, Tacopa bomber horse flies have popped back out, so now the bomber police are here. That's right. I have lots more fly swatters in my truck. Could be that it just... The tire is actually kind of filling for a second. How about that? I do have a valve core tool that won't seal. So it's... Actually, with more air in it, it may seal. So after all these years out here, putting air in here for the first time, and the tire is actually inflating. How about that? Now, how long it'll stay inflated is anybody's guess. And I wouldn't put a lot of money on a long time, but well, it helps get us out of here. Yep. It says a lot about these old tires, too. Aha, there it went. All right. Now she's sealed. He's a ceiling. It's that old timey tech right there. Why is a tire valve a female? Because it's more <laughs> receptive. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just say. I'll say because it's primed to give you trouble every time you turn your back on it. Okay, Ross. Well, I have other thoughts too, but I, I, I can't say those on. Uh... You can say that on my channel. <laughs> my mom watches your channel. God bless your mom. Plating <laughs> tire number two back here now. That is, uh... All the highly trained professionals are in here. Sarah's back at a safe distance. <laughs> the rest of us are like, hey, we like watching split rim tires inflate. 
Copy. One thing I like about the internet nowadays is there's plenty of videos of tires blowing up. People using quick start. Oh, yeah. I watch oh, these. Yeah. My, my son and I have done one. We had to, we gave it some shots. Oh, I love those videos. Poof. We watch these guys on an internet with big tires going. <laughs> then they light it, the tire just blows and flies up yeah, in the air. Yeah, and, yeah but it can't be overdone. Moderation is key in most things. Now surprisingly, just on a whim, we tried to put some air in this tire here, and as bad as this tire looks, the tube is holding air. a little air right now. So. Ross, this one took air. This one too? So all four of these tires right now the tire is creaking. are holding air. I mean, I wouldn't want to be around them when they roll, but it's at least to help us get them out of the mud here. So. That says a lot for those old school tires and tubes. These things are, how old do you figure these are, Paul? I'm certain they're 75 years old. So Wait a minute, this one is. That one. That one I think is different than this one. Yeah, I think they're all different. That looks like an old military NDT. It I'm is. not even sure what this it was. Is. So, whatever the mining company had, it went on the rim. But they made stuff good back then. 60 and 75 year old tires that have been sitting out here in the sun flat for decades are now holding air. Put it down. Hey, look at that! Woo! Yeah. Moving for the first time in God only knows how long. Oh. Bad place to stand. Oh. And there's Sarah getting herself a Man, frickin' tastic! Okay, hold on, let me get my iced tea. <laughs> Priorities. It's a little scary when that one side went down over here. But it looks smooth! Okay, as long as I got y'all here, Sarah's got a, a pet project she's working on, uh, right. literally. So why don't you tell us about this pet project? I've got a pet project, and that is, uh, well, a desert, a dog was found wandering in the desert, a pregnant dog. She had a litter of 14 puppies. 14 puppies? Yes, and it's very, exactly un it's true. unbelievable that she, that they all lived. All 14 puppies are thriving. They're about four weeks old now, and we're looking for homes. They're beautiful pups. For more information, you can come on over to my channel. I'm, oh. a, I'm about to go film some more footage of them. Uh, they're, they're super cute and all joking aside, yeah, Ross, if you know anybody who will provide a good home to a beautiful puppy, you know, let us know. I agree, and that's one thing we, we all agree on. I mean, good mm -hmm. puppies need homes, and yes. people need good puppies, and yeah, th these guys are cute. So. They are. Please, um, I, I want to call to every one of my 16 viewers, please, yeah, adopt a puppy today or pass the word on to somebody you know who needs a puppy. These guys are cute. Thank and they've all been touched by Wonder Hussy. Well, yes. Yeah. I don't know if that makes them extra valuable or less valuable. Oh my god. Sell it. Yeah, that'll have them gone. <laughs> touched Sorry. by... That sounded creepy, Ross. <laughs> oh, don't. What are you saying? I did. Anyway, let me turn this off. Yep. Now we're cutting the old tire off so we can get at the, uh, the tube in the rim. And we'll take a look at this thing. Not that you're in the way or nothing there, Sarah. It's okay, you did it to me. What's that? Got in my shot. Fair is fair. Yeah, exactly. Turnabout is fair play, Ross. Yeah. That is, we can cut what's left of this tire off of here. We can attack that rim, get it apart, and mount the new tire. Got a good knife on it. Kind of feels like mm. I getting the pry bar under what's left of the inner tube and the liner. Well, that's not a very wide rim for tires that size, but, but we're going back to another era right here. <laughs> Oh, 
Who do we know drives a blue car? Hmm? Who that? It could only be Susan. There we go, look, the Copa celebrity. And Susan Sorrell herself. Fantastic. How are you? I am good, Ross. And How are you? Terrific. And Susan here, among, other than being the Doyen of Shoshone, Shoshone here, is one of the board members of the museum who graciously you know, donated this uh, wonderful compressor. And as you can see, we're getting some real work down here. I'm so. going to do it, Sarah Ann. Oh, look, Susan's going to pull out her out of my place. <laughs> <laughs> this is very exciting. It's very interesting to watch this. Process. I'll bet it is. Hey, Paul. Super interesting. <laughs> you look fascinated. I want to thank you, you so much for this. Yeah. So here's where we're going to stop for the day. We've got this monster moved, but uh, we can't quite get this rim apart. Although the good side is we know what we need. So we're going to go back and fabricate uh, a couple of tools and lay in a couple of spares. And we'll be back out here tomorrow to uh, finish taking this rim apart. And then we should be able to just get new uh, liner and tubes on there and a new tire and Lather, rinse, repeat on the other side, and tow this monster tire. home. We're going to bring another tire with us, too. Right. Tomorrow. Sounds good to me. So, there we go. It's We've had our day's fun today, but we had some real success with it, and this monster is a lot closer to being back at the mines than it was a couple hours ago. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Dan. And... To Sarah and Susan Sorrell and everybody else who's no longer here, thank you too. And you wonderful viewers out there, hey, thank you.